Well, here's the issue. I have a frozen wafer switch on the Johnson Viking 2. This is for the Crystal Select. Currently it is stuck on the VFO position. I can sit there and crank on that thing and she is froze solid. So what do you do? Most guys would replace the entire switch but I'm going to take this one apart and repair it. So I've showed this repair on some other radios but I thought it would be interesting to do one on the Viking 2. So there is a shaft coupler and this quarter inch shaft goes to the knob and this couples to the wafer switch. I'm going to disassemble the wafer switch by removing these two nuts. I'm going to retract the wafer and pull the mechanical switching assembly out. Take that apart, clean and lube it, and put her back together. This is a little bit labor intensive, but it saves you having to unwire and rewire all these leads to a new wafer switch. And then, how about finding that wafer switch? That's a challenge in itself. So first, I'm going to disconnect the coupling, retract that shaft, and get the switch pulled. I've got the hardware disconnected holding the wafer on the back of the rotary mechanism. So now I'm going to pull the switch assembly back and get that mechanism out so I can clean and lube it. To make removal easier, I loosened up the bracket nuts. Didn't take them out, just loosened them up so I can get this thing out of there without damaging the wafer. And there it is. Removed, and we didn't have to unwire anything. Now, I need to get this clip out of here, pull the shaft out, clean it, lube it, make sure everything's free to operate, and put it back together. So I removed the clip but the shaft is still frozen in this assembly. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil here, heat it, and try to push this guy out. Alright, so I'm going to heat up this mechanism. Hopefully things cooperate. I'll be able to get that shaft out, clean and move it. There she goes. The shaft is moving. Make sure to mark where this little stopper was so you get it put back together correctly and of course don't lose that little ball bearing that sits in that saddle. I've got it ready to clean and lube. I just use lacquer thinner on a q-tip. Clean off that old lube even though there's no signs of it. Reapply some white grease and put her back together. It's all cleaned, greased up, time for reassembly. Reassembled and operating smooth. Time to put her back in the radio. Alright, she's all back together and operating great.